At this point in our service, we want to um, pray together. Uh, we are able to pray in all sorts of ways, in all sorts of times and places. But there's something special and wonderful when we come together as a fellowship to pray. And it's my privilege to, to lead those prayers today. So please join with me as we pray today. Father, we thank you for the message that we've heard from the scriptures that Phil has spoken of about friendships. And he mentioned in there our first and foremost importance of growing in our friendship with you, our relating, our understanding that you love to hear us, to meet with us in the language of Genesis, to walk in the cool of the evening. Lord, we so often shy away and think uh, our things on our hearts are either too small and insignificant or they're perhaps too big and insurmountable. But as I read at the start of the service, you, Lord, are the almighty God and we shelter in your shadow. You are our refuge and fortress. I pray, Father, that in this service today and the coming days, we would, we would grow in our love for you and grow in our understanding of your love for us. We thank you for our church and our friends. Would you help us to, to keep loving one another, but also to help each other as friends? To find that there is fun and life through fellowship, whether that's eating a meal, walking, sharing a sport, or simply time together. With that in mind, Lord, we thank you for, for our friends, those who have um, been especially important to us throughout these difficult months of lockdown, of isolation, of limited contact. For those who phoned, for the times we've spent online on screens, and what a privilege it is to begin to be reunited in person. Lord, help those friendships be stronger. For all that we've received, help us to be appreciative, but also to, to enable us to serve and care for our, our, our friends. So yeah, we thank you for those who've supported us and walked with us through these challenging months. And Lord, I'm, I'm also really aware that because we've been isolated and, and all that's still going on with the pandemic, there is quite a lot of fear and apprehension and anxiety. We just voice that to you, Lord. Whatever are the things that play in our mind or in our heart, we bring them to you. And we know that fear is not something that you plan or will for us. Perfect love drives out all fear. Would you help us, whatever it is about the economics or of meeting together in larger groups or is it too soon or what happens if, or actually something that was difficult and hard and bad has happened and we're frightened that it will reoccur, particularly for those who've been bereaved and have lost. Come Holy Spirit. And Father, as a fellowship, I was well aware as we met last week in the grounds of the school, the joy of seeing faces and being reunited Help us as we take the next steps to continue to rebuild relationships, friendships across our fellowship with our young people and children there as they are reunited, as, as we welcome people who we've not seen for months and as indeed there are newer people in our fellowship for whom either moved into the area or just begun to worship with us and actually a craving of relationship, friendship. 
Let that come easily and naturally and swiftly, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.